An exasperated father asked his son's high school principal what profession his son should consider. His son didn't necessarily make great grades and was frustrating to many of his teachers who called him, quote, distracted and said he couldn't remember anything. The principal responded to the dad and said, you know, it doesn't matter. He'll never make a success of anything. That father, his name was Herman Einstein. And that student who wouldn't amount to anything that was his son, Albert, Albert Einstein. Now, before we start thinking poorly of that principle, uh, you and I have to admit something. This sort of thing happens quite often. Well-meaning teachers and parents and caring adults unintentionally look past the native skills of a kid because that kid is different or perhaps even annoying. So what if a kid's most annoying trait is also potentially their biggest talent? What if a kid's greatest asset first presents itself as a giant pain in your <clears throat> asset? Well, think about it. What if that bossy kid just needs a caring adult to help redirect them and cultivate that unrefined leadership skill by giving them some important tasks to do. You might just have a CEO in front of you. What if that really sensitive kid just needs a caring adult to redirect them and cultivate that empathy towards helping causes and people who are in need? You might just have a humanitarian in front of you. And what if you're like Mrs. Wilhite? And in your ninth grade class, you got this overly talkative class clown guy named Josh who won't stop disrupting class. And what if, what if, instead of getting annoyed, you pulled him aside and said, you should sign up for speech and debate because Josh, I don't know if you know this or not, but you are a gifted communicator. You see, that's what Mrs. Wilhite did with me. She didn't get annoyed, although looking back on it, she certainly had every right to be annoyed. You see, she looked past the annoyance to uncover the asset. And you're listening to me right now because she did such. You see, kids need a caring adult to call out of them things they don't yet see in themselves, not to shut down the, the talent disguised as an annoyance, but to redirect it and hone it and cultivate it. Because maybe, just maybe, you too have your own Einstein sitting right in front of you.